Hello all, this video is on GSM based security system made by NSK Electronics Bangalore. This board is developed on PIC IC and SIM 800C GSM module. The board has got a connector for 12 volt 2 amps adapter. On board there is a bridge and a regulator LM2576. On the back side of the board there is a slide SIM tray. You can use a valid SIM. 3G or 4G SIM but Geo SIM is not supported as Geo is LTE 4G. On the front side of the board there is a TP4056 uh, board for charging the battery and there is a battery connector a battery 3.7 volt 3000 milliamps lithium ion battery is provided this can provide a backup up to 8 hours and there is a relay that uh, black color relay is provided to connect external siren the relay has got three contacts it's uh, common nc and no generally you connect uh, supply 12 volt dc or uh, ac 230 volt ac to common and to no point you will connect the load according to the siren whether it is dc or ac and other than that three PBT connectors are there RB0 and RB1 for uh, sensor inputs and RB2 for power switch let us connect the battery 3.7 volt lithium ion battery to the connector and then provide a 12 volt 2 amps adapter for charging this adapter is uh, used for charging the battery so both battery and adapter are required for uh, working let us connect a DC socket wire to the PBT connector all connectors are PBT uh, removable type so you can easily connect the wire and then plug the uh, PBT to the board connect the 12 volt adapter to the board uh, plus minus is not a problem as there is on board uh, bridge rectifier slide out the SIM tray and uh, place the valid SIM you can use a converter for a micro SIM slide in the SIM tray now there is no indication uh, only the power that is the TP4056 charging indicator is on now let us loop the RB2 connector RB2 should be looped or provided with the switch so that uh, the board is on let us uh, use a short wire to short the pins RB2 now you can see the LED is blinking you can also use a, a key switch like this for master control before starting let us see the types of sensors that is connected to RB0 and RB1 there are two types of uh, sensors first one is NC NC type is normally closed door sensor which is closed when the magnet is away there is a magnet and then a read switch the other one is uh, normally open type uh, door sensor it is open when magnet is away let us check the nc type sensor using a multimeter nc is uh, normally closed it shows continuity when the magnet is away when the magnet comes near the uh, switch read switch it is open so it is closed when magnet is away and open when magnet is nearby generally the board is programmed for nc type of uh, sensors the other one is no type of sensors which is open when magnet is away and closed when magnet is nearby uh, this type of uh, key switch can be used at rb2 connector this can be used as a master control the, while the owner is opening the door he can just uh, close the switch so that the alarm is not triggered when the key is on the continuity will be provided and board will be on this key switch can be connected to RB2 as uh, owner switch so the battery is connected 3.7 volt and 12 volt charger is provided but the loop is not provided now at RB2 so the board is not switched on now let us provide a loop using a, a bit of wire just uh, short the two pins at RB2 connector now the green LED power LED is on and then the red LED starts blinking this is the network LED 
This starts blinking fast when searching for network. Once the network is received, it will go slower. That is once in 3 seconds it will blink and then the status LED, yellow LED also starts blinking. When the red LED uh, blinks slower, it means network is ok. First test is to do a call to that SIM. You will get a ring back tone and then it will uh, you will get busy. To register master number, send SMS to the uh, number on the board. 1 STN and then your master number. Send SMS to the board. You will get confirmation that uh, 1 STN is stored. That is the master number is stored. Like this you can uh, register up to 5 numbers. To know the numbers registered, you can use the, you can send SMS SPN to know the stored phone numbers. To know the status, send SMS STS. You will get SMS back regarding status. That is the device is on, door 1 is closed and door 2. The You can use up to 2 sensors and the battery condition it is 96% charge. AC power is on and the siren is on. STN that is the number of uh, registers only 1 and mode is NC that is you are used to NC type of uh, sensor and then the message is on so when uh, uh, sensor is triggered you will get message and then uh, siren there are two uh, connectors uh, that is RB0 and RB1 where you can connect the sensors even you can loop the sensors at uh, different points like doors and the windows and then uh, connect to these points first let us loop the RB0 you will get SMS alert that is input 1 is alert and you will get the date and time and also uh, you will get a call to the master number so uh, SMS will be sent only once and the call will be repeatedly sent so it will uh, repeatedly call the master number and also the stored numbers till the sensor is open Suppose uh, you open the sensor that RB0, the call uh, you will not get the call. That is when the intruder closes the door back again, you will not get SMS and alert. You can manually switch on the siren by sending SMS ON. So the relay will be on and the siren will be on uh, permanently till you send the message OFF send message OFF to switch off the relay and the siren as well. You can also deactivate the system by sending SMS DSS. DSS message will uh, deactivate the system. And you will not get the uh, siren or uh, call back again. To activate the system, you have to send the SMS ASS. ASS will activate the system again. So this is for uh, NC type of sensor which is uh, uh, by default. While using NO type of sensor let us see how to set the board. First let us connect the NO type sensor to RB0. So this NO type sensor when magnet is uh, away it will be open and when magnet is nearby it will be closed now while connecting it to RB0 you will automatically get the alert uh, the board is programmed for uh, uh, NC by default so you'll get alert now you deactivate the system by sending DSS and then connect a loop at RB1 yes there are two sensors you have to while using NO type sensor at RB0 you have to provide a sensor at RB1 also. So we will provide a loop at RB1. And then set the uh, system to DNO. That is for NO type of sensor. Send SMS DNO to set it to normally open type of sensor. So it will change from NC to NO. Now let us send the status SMS STS to know the status. 
so you'll get a SMS back now the device is off as we have de deactivated so the device is off door 1 is closed door 2 is closed and the system is changed to NO now activate the system by sending SMS ASS now the system is activated now let us open the door by pu pulling away the sensor from the magnet so the system is triggered now you will get SMS and a call back you will get the call back to the owner number as well as to the register numbers and also input one alert uh, with the time and the date you can uh, switch on the uh, siren by sending ON permanently so the siren will be on permanently it will be automatically on but when the door is closed back again it will be off so you can switch on by sending ON to delete the stored number you can send SMS 1STN00 only one zero or number of zeros is not uh, uh, main 000 you sent so the now now the stored number is erased you will not get back any message as the number is erased your master number is erased to get the message again you have to store back your number using one stn now you will get the message back spn will uh, show the stored numbers and sts will give the uh, status there is also an android app app you can uh, download to send sms this is just a basic uh, android app not a wi-fi app uh, just to send sms so open the android app and then provide the gsm board sim number and then uh, touch on save then uh, board sim number is saved and uh, to store the master number you uh, in that one STN and provide your uh, master number and uh, touch on send so automatically in the background SMS will be sent this app is uh, just for sending SMS and not a Wi-Fi app you can set the limit of numbers that is the number of uh, messages you will get to the master numbers and also door switch control you can set it to normally closed or normally open on the background the SMS will be automatically sent so you can uh, activate the system or deactivate the system and then you can check the stored numbers so when you touch on check stored numbers automatically ST SPN will be sent in the background so now let us check the SMS sent so according to the uh, control you have touched on the app the SMS sent in the background this is only a basic uh, app thank you for watching